Ah, yes, another JonTron, if you please. Uh, dearest JonTron uh, has provided us with many a laughs, including that one uh, with the New England one where he he oh, actually yeah. made New England chowder and like made all this really nice food, and then all of a sudden he was just like, what am I talking about? This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. I don't know what's going on here. It looked delicious. It needed more clam juice. Yeah, so I've had New England food before, and i got to say, Fish is good, crab is good, and I've had some pretty, I've had some pretty good uh, clam chowder. I mean, a little salty, but eh. I can't say I've ever had any good clam chowder. Really? No. There's some pretty good, there's some pretty good clam chowder in Baltimore. I know yeah. that. I've only had it from a can, so. Oh well, that's your problem right there. I'm talking homemade shit, dude. Where they actually caught, like, carve the mussel up and then they actually let it stew for a while, and it just it. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, I never tried it either myself. Eh. I love I crab, though. Shit. Oh, I love crab. Crab's legit. But crab Alas- awesome. Alaskan king crab. Dude, I had an Alaskan king crab. Cracked that thing open. The The meat that I pulled out of it was like a big round as a hot dog. <laughs> and it was like that long. I'm just like... Sounds awesome. I just had... I just about fainted. I was like, this is, this is, this is paradise, man. This is the best thing ever. And then I... I See, I went to devour every bit of that crab. It's a battle. <sighs> Just, I couldn't help myself. There's a real victory in getting the crab meat. Yeah. Not really, if you know how to do it. I mean, I've got it mastered how to crack how to crack the crab. My dumb ass definitely struggled with it. Hey, I can teach you, man. It's easy. It's easy enough for me. So if my if my my stupid hands can do it, anyone's can. Yeah, I got stupid hands. I mean, sometimes they they just do random things. Yeah, thank you, I know. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, let's let's just not dilly-dally around. I know we all got shit to do. Let's just get into this, see what happens. Wow. <coughs> Easy, everyone. Every dragon has this a weak is... spot. Uh, I don't know about that one. That is a large and, frankly, <laughs> unweak-looking dragon with uh, a lot of gold. <laughs> Smell? <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> What's this? Well, friends, it's just the most ambitious RPG project of 2019. Introducing Raid Shadow Legends, the most immersive RPG experience you'll find on a smartphone anywhere. Forget everything you think you know about mobile games, because Raid is going to change it all. Okay. The game is totally free. It's got. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw For Honor awesome and Elder Scrolls Giant Online there PvP for a battles, second. And hundreds of champions yeah. to collect and customize. Now that's legendary. And also, did Thank I mention you. you can play with me too? Just search for my clan tag Jontron and join the party. What up, JT? I'll be accepting people for the next few days, so act fast. And as a cherry on top, the raid dev team have been kind enough to give me a specialized link that gets you a bunch of extra oh, goodies wait. just for the simple act of this clicking. is real. So He's what are you waiting for? Go to that description box, no. click that link, and I thought it was being <laughs> silver and He's actually being champion. I swear He's, to God, uh, right, this whole video. time Sponsor I thought this was a skit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Further proof that I am an absolute idiot. What's up, John? Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, my bleeding I've been fat. there. Jesus Christ! That's smart. I, I think one of my vertebrae went. I think... I can't move. I... I think I'm gonna need some serious help. <laughs> Dr. Hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dr. Hall. That's not... That's yeah, not... Know. Oh, dear. That was an Archer parody from... <laughs> what? Oh. What, just because the, the Flash you intro played, you think I'm suddenly going to be magically okay? I'm going to be out of here? No, I, news Flash. Uh, I'm still in extreme pain, so if you'd like to help, do it now or forever rest your fucking peace, man. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a, that is a gun barrel pointed at me! Now All right, let's get serious. Uh, let's come back down to Earth here for a second. I bet you're wondering what the hell I'm on about. Uh, and I'll tell you, what I'm saying is, if you're living this eternal life of torment down here on Earth, there's only one man for you. And he works at the Ho Clinic! And he also is a Ho! One Dr. Ho. Uh, <laughs> still pending if he's got that MD, but uh, he is at least definitely a chiropractor. Basically, all you guys gotta oh, know is I found this amazing commercial for this guy, Dr. Ho, and his fantastic back pain belt. 
Apparently he's been selling it for a long time, but I've never heard of it. But without further ado, this is a man who really believes in this product, so I'll let him sell it to you. This is Dr. Ho's Decompression Belt. Hi, I'm John Cremans. Welcome to our show, Wait, Living Dr. Ho? Without Back Pain. Hi, John Cremans. Where's Dr. Ho? That's what I'm saying. Back pain, <laughs> Son of pain, a bitch. Or shooting pain that runs down Give your legs. Give me my legs. hoe. I have, a, I have a pain of the brain. You don't want to be up there. Have years of back pain changed We've all been more? There. Have minor shooting pains changed your character to the degree that you will just hurt someone you love who you wouldn't have hurt before? Stop it, Jimmy! Well, today, we have a renowned pain specialist who has developed an incredible new innovation to help relieve lower back pain. Dr. Michael Ho has over 20 years of clinical experience. Dr. Ho, turn him around. You're supposed to do CPR on the other side. People don't breathe through their butthole. <laughs> that man might be dead. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's just tenderizing a corpse right there. He's developed many well-known and effective home therapy products combining innovation and clinical science. D much clinical science here is going on. <laughs> Dr. Ho, oh I don't God. care about your cannabinoid tea, okay? I need spinal surgery. He's been recognized for his ability to relieve pain safely and effectively. And like a hell of a lot of PhDs. Have you ever noticed how like the doctors with like the least public credibility, whenever they're in a shot, they just got the most biggest PhDs and shit behind them? You know, my patients are always telling me, Doc, I, uh, um, hey, listen, man, can, can we move the frame this way? Get it like here? There <laughs> you go. All right, let's do it again. You know, my patients are always telling me, Doc, um, I'm following all your advice. Uh, I'm sticking to the regiment to a T, and I've still got back pain. And I tell them the same thing every time. Uh, it's really not my fucking problem. <laughs> I'm like, dude, what do you want from me? All right? I, I don't know what to do. You, you want a refund on a freaking back massage? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can do this. Oops. Oh, this? Don't worry about this. It was like two bucks online. I'll have it replaced in no time. Please welcome. <laughs> Dr. Michael Ho. Hello, what John. Up, Ho? Hey, doctor. Hello, John. I've been here the whole time waiting for you to tell me to come on. Let's get right to it, though. What is the secret to relieving back pain? Most back pain is caused by a combination of muscle tension, stiff joints, and degenerative discs. Degenerative discs. I'm not even fucking around. <laughs> what did he say? And degenerative discs. Degenerative tears? Degenerative discs. <laughs> On the other hand, John, decompression attraction. I hate. I don't like the fact that he's. I feel like he's gonna take my spine and rip it out. Like, who does that? Scorpion? Uh, uh, Sub Zero. Predator. No, in Sub Zero had a spine rip. Fatality. Predator. He says Predator. I wish. Pre Scorpion, right? Sub Zero wins. You know, while taking a pill seems easy, but there is no magic pill for back pain. I never thought there was a pill for back pain. Did anybody think there was a pill for back pain? I know a pill for pain. It's called like heroin. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't really take that for back for my back pain at least. Maybe just for sadness. Who are you, Phil and so Selma? If the cause is mechanical. Shouldn't taking a pill is not going to solve the problem. You got that right. Nice job sticking to the script, Creamy. There's an extra paycheck coming in the mail for you this month. And after years of research and development, I'm very proud to say I have designed a new decompression belt that can instantly to help relieve your back pain anywhere, anytime. Well, that's unprecedented. How does it work? Really? How? Really? How? How does it work? It's not a scam, is it? So how does it work? It's a scam? Nobody's figured this one out for you? You're the first one to figure this out? John, it's much more than a regular support belt. How much money you had in R&D? Is this a scam, Dr. O? When pumped up, it decompresses joint and disc to help relieve your back pain. This smells like a bit like a scam. And my family is from a long line of smellers. When it rises, it also lifts and unload the weight of the upper body off your lower back. <laughs> Who hasn't been in that situation? Just <laughs> Googling something. Oh, it strikes! Stop it, Jimmy! Now, my belt helps you keep your back together, supports the belt, and stabilize your back to prevent it. <laughs> what was more impressive there is that one minute he was typing on a laptop, and then he freaking go go gadgeted into a motor vehicle, okay? <laughs> That's what you should be talking about. That should be the selling point of the belt. Well, that sounds like something I could use. Can I try it? Absolutely. But before we put the belt on, I want you to step up on the posture podium here. Okay. Because Weird. This is like the only part where, where Mr. Cremo just seems slightly like uncomfortable. Because I want to measure your spinal alignment to see how my whole physio belt can help you. All right. Okay. I guess I'll step up on that. What, what is it? Is that, a, is that a reticule? Is that a target? Doctor, what are you doing? <laughs> That's a laser sight. That's a laser sight on me. Okay. Can you look straight ahead, please? Okay. Oh. John, I see why you're getting back pain, okay? I like how th th this this is how it's diagnosed. Now, can you step up there for a minute for me? 
Oh my God, are you serious? That's, Jesus, man, you should have come in earlier. When you're floating, you put string in your back. Oh no, that's not good. It's not good, it's bad, it's bad for you, bad for the back. Oh my gosh. And can I just say, that posture podium is downright sinister, all right? All right I, I've, I've been to museums, seen all the medieval torture devices. I'm on to you, Dr. Ho, I know what you're all about. Your methods are brutal at worst, unethical at best. Holy moly, Dr. H, when they said you were a master of pain, I didn't know they meant it literally. Oh, freaky. That I want you to so put my belt on. We just well, put my foot on. Okay. Yeah. What's my foot pump? I just go ahead and pump it up. Go on, pump it yourself. It's my foot pump, but you pump it. I mean, I, I feel taller. My entire core <laughs> feels like it's being completely stretched and supported. My, my intestines feel um, a, a tad smaller than before, as if they were being crushed by great weight. Wow, this is some good stuff. It's not bulky at all. And now, how does my tummy look? Does it you look, look flatter? Like you lost some weight. You're looking good, man. All right, Dr. O. All right. <laughs> lay, lay off the cream, boy. Okay, you just kind of, you're being a bit cruel now. You know, this really works. It's you know, hey, look at fat support. white man. It <laughs> feels comfortable. It doesn't restrict my breathing. Matter of fact, you know what? <laughs> Is that a plus? Should that really be one of the selling points when I'm buying something on the back of the box? Should it say that? Does not even restrict breathing. <laughs> Let's try this thing. I know, I'm bringing it out a little early. Hey, hey you bought one. I didn't Dr. know. Dr. Rose wearing it here. <laughs> hey, put this sure garbage out, dude. This is going to save my life. This is unprecedented. Fuck, how do I get this on? Does that count as it being on? It says bullshit, Dr. Ho. You made this skinny Asian man size. That's <laughs> <laughs> close enough, I guess. Wunderbar. All right, now i got to pump myself up. All right, I feel like this is a very flattering situation pump? I'm in. Oh, there it is. It's pumping up. You are. It's, per really? it's perfect for anyone. Oh, oh, there she goes. Dr. Ho, you've done the impossible. <laughs> you've taken $200 of my money. Hey, at least it showed up. Soldier Boy didn't even send me my thing. It's really good. It's true. You know, that's the Soldier Boy. Oh, no. I'm going to give that a solid, um, I didn't even know what it was supposed to do out of 10. It's a great success. John, oh. <laughs> my low back is killing me because I'm carrying all this extra weight. Wow. But if I can take this weight off, my back will instantly feel better. And that's exactly how my belt works. See, that makes sense. Less pressure. <laughs> you can't just say it and it becomes true, okay? You just try to repeat that over and over. That makes sense. What you're hearing does not require any sort of critical investigation. That's just true. Look at this, John, okay? When I'm pumping it up, the weight is keep decreasing off the low back. Now that's not how it works. Weight. What is this proving? What is this proving? Uh, no, genuinely, what is this demonstration meant to prove? Yeah, no shit, if you pump up the belt, it's gonna pump up what's above it. And? Now we're down to almost zero weight. It's like going out to space, zero gravity. Come on, guys, get real, quit exaggerating. It's a nice belt, but zero gravity. I mean, could... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my down. Get me down. The zero gravity belt. The zero gravity. I don't have gravity. I don't have gravity. I don't have gravity. With my whole facial belt, you can use it every day at work. I love the, I love at the home, <laughs> cocaine came, came, came for your children. It's a back pain relief belt designed to fit your lifestyle. See, I like the idea that you don't have to depend on anybody. Was that, did that have anything to do with the last thing, or was that just kind of like, her up you know, straight once the they put the belt on desire her, you have you know, the post, but belt like, makes home would she be able to actually bend over and pick up her kid with it on? People with chronic back pain. That's the, that's the, that's the real test right there. I've got no pain, and I feel great. <laughs> I've got, I've got, uh, 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 no, no, I no like pain. I that man was exploited, okay? And I feel great. <laughs> I feel like somehow that man was exploited. That man was given a paycheck for something he didn't really want to say. <laughs> no, you know what they were doing? They were dangling the $50 above the cue card that he was reading. And he was just like, I have no back pain. We yeah. will tell you where your 18-wheeler like, Betsy is if you do this commercial. I've got, like, I have no pain, uh, no pain and I feel great. <laughs> Can't say anything about the breathing restricted thing. They already said I couldn't Let's say that. Let's read there, Jethro. <laughs> Can't breathe. We got to get a support group together to find this man. Thanks, man. Glad you can come on. I have no back, lower back pain when I'm, I have this belt on. I have, I have no back pain. Okay, I got it. Got a pain. I have no back pain. Lower back pain. Um, I feel like a, a very oh, no. <laughs> Is this real? You I don't know. Face pain, no. back there when I'm, I Let's hear that. Glad you can come on. I have no back, lower back pain when I'm. I have no back. 
What do you mean you got no back? I have no back when I have the suit. I have no back when I am when I'm wearing the belt. I have no back. I mean, at least you know they're not paid actors. Cause... Oh, my God. Maybe they are. They're not paid well. I have yeah. no back pain. No, no, no. Okay, I got it. I've got it paid. No. I have this belt on playing with the kids. Just uh, pain by the face. Like a, a... <laughs> but the pain oh in my, my face God. is real. She got freaking decked in the face. Doink. They left it in. They left it in. Doink. Back pain's all yeah. gone. I'm working on the eye socket. The belts I need a like, compression no, belt for leave in. You know, leave it in. This part of my cranium. I'm very surprised that to relieve the uh, back pain. But I have a compressed vertebrae, fourth and fifth vertebrae. I got compressed air. Helps me blow the dust away when I get Cheetos in my keyboard. Wait, 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 wait. That's the same keyboard. Wow. That's the same keyboard, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. John must shop at the same Walmart I do. Uh. Real recognize real, mate. John! Well, now he doesn't have the same keyboard anymore. Damn it, John! That's probably, that was probably his prop keyboard because he was playing on Smash. It's it. the cheap Walmart keyboard, unfortunately. Damn, you I just hate it on yourself. The fact, <laughs> the following is what <laughs> like an episode of Time Haters. You got yourself. I think it's... Rip. <laughs> so no, I can't speak Latin. I was like, Santi said, Cosa Nostra. Being able to pick my daughter up is amazing, and just embracing her and showing her love was impossible. Before. She, didn't, she didn't bend down because she didn't show her love, love before. To my daughter was impossible <laughs> before Dr. House <laughs> Yeah, I still held down a job. Yeah, I had to go to the bank go to the post office to file taxes sometimes, but embracing and loving my daughter was impossible. <laughs> I think every patient with back pain should be wearing this belt. You didn't sound so sure of yourself there, Doc. Should be wearing this belt. If that is your real profession. Holy crap, now that's one hell of a slip disc. Now these are some really striking testimonials, okay? If I wasn't sold on the peanut pump before, Madame and Monsieur Eloquence over here really tipped it over the edge. I, I gotta tell you, for me, it's been life changing. I mean, I only used to be able to hold down employment in bell towers previously, but my prospects are really opening up. I'm working part time as a graves digger. Uh, I got moat patrolsmen, and I got some <laughs> prospects even coming up as a bricklayer. If you're an accursed wretch like me, this is what you need for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna be able to look back on your life and say, that life was worth at least slightly more than a newt's. <laughs> if you suffer with back pain, if everything else has failed, you have to try my whole physio belt. Why? Because it works. With my belt, you can work better, play more, relax, and regain your passion life. Relax. Right. This is what you need. Buy it. Buy that. Buy this. This is what you need. Go on, buy that. Buy it right now. Credit card. So what are you waiting for? Call the number on your screen right now, and you could be free of back pain sooner than you could possibly dream. I'll do it. I'll kill, my, I'll kill myself. I'll end my life. Buy it. Buy it. The, the blood's the blood's cutting off circulation. The blood's cutting. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, John. <laughs> night, night. Well, in this world of radiating pains, arched backs, and slipped discs, it's hard to know who or what to turn to. Or if you should turn it all because your doctor told you to keep sharp, unexpected gyrations to a minimum. But at the end of the day, everyone knows there is one man who rises above it all to meet the collective challenge we face. So they're back to the 007 shit. Full yes. Tens full of queens. You can't beat that. So you go home and cry to mommy now, huh? <laughs> well, I've already been to see my mom today, but have you been to see my royal flush? What? That can't be. Impossible. Who are you? The name's Tron. John Tron. John Tron. How I guess you could say did you I know that. A couple of bases up my pump action decompression belt. <laughs> you cheating son of a bitch! You cheat me! I teach you a thing or two about who you can cheat! Shocking. <laughs> Positively shocking. Can this you imagine the ad he put out for actors for Trump? these skits? Yeah. Don't thank me. 
Really, you should be thanking the good doctor himself. Each and every one of these items has been painstakingly reverse engineered from one of his own inventions. But our most striking discovery of all is this manuscript detailing his precise method of pain relief. I could have told you that <laughs> why they were busted. That's oh, good. grow up, Tron. And do put that thing away. Tron, tell me, what do you know of this Dr. Ho? Only that his callous efficiency knows no bounds. <laughs> I feel like I'm 31 again. His pumping and lifting of vertebra is at a rate we've never seen. We need you to track him down and find out the secret to his success. <laughs> Tell me how. Do you expect me to talk? Hello, John. Oh, you're looking better. <laughs> Relax and regain your passion for life. No more pain. You know, John, this is what you need. You absolute bastard! I'll get you for this hell! Thundercats! Ho! Oh. Well, okay. Okay. That, that was a fucking trip. Yep. Doctor Ho. The name's Ho. Doctor Ho. A large majority of infomer infomercials are just like so non-believable and absolutely <laughs> cheesy. They're just ridiculous satires you think, you of themselves. Think this man. one. You think this one's bad? You should see the one where uh, John Tron or where uh, uh, they do flex tape. What the yeah, fuck? that was wild. You, never, you ever seen the flex, flex tape, tape one? is awesome, dude. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Just to prove to you how flex tape can do, I sawed this boat in half. Phil, what does that have to do with flex tape? With flex tape. <laughs> and then of course, there's the flex seal. He's just like he's like you could you could poke a whole bunch of holes in it, but why? Why, why, why? would you why would you poke a bunch of holes in the bucket? With a really big knife. <laughs> and then, of course, there was the one where he's just like, you see this? It's like, you see what we've done here? We've dipped this completely in flex seal, and water doesn't go through. That's a colander, Phil. It's supposed to It's supposed to have water go through it. What you've effectively done is made a bowl. <laughs> wow. <coughs> uh, we like, we, we, may, we may go this... back and watch those. We may go back and watch those with you. It just as yeah. a little bit of a we refresher. This dune buggy completely with flex seal. He's like, pretty sure it took a little more than just <laughs> one, two steps, like you just said. But all right. <laughs> whatever you say, dude. Yeah, and they actually did a second one, and the guy who does flex seal and flex tape, Phil Swift, did the video with them. Yeah, because the first one was so popular. <laughs> the testimonials in this, though, won it for me. That yeah. The shit was fucking hilarious. Slap on that flex seal! <laughs> Slap it on with the might of Zeus! <laughs> That's literally what John said. But, yeah, this right here, Dr. Ho, the friggin' test... I love the testimonials in some of them. Because I, I go back and I watch, like, old infomercials, and it's just like... It's like... It's like, <laughs> it's like the AIDS one, the AIDS infomercial. You ever seen that? A-Y-D-S. No. It used to be a chewable candy that was also like a weight loss oh, supplement. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, with the new AIDS diet, I, <laughs> I kid you not. I kid you not. And it has... Oh, that's so dark. It has to me one of the oh. best taglines ever. No. Why, why, suffer, why suffer through diet pills when you can enjoy AIDS? Are you serious? Some dumbass... I thought that I was a good idea not. somewhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, no. This is a real thing, man. Have you guys heard about the people who are like the... Uh, oh, the chasers. The AIDS chasers. Like, there's people who want to catch AIDS on purpose. Right? So, there's like a community of people that are weird and want and have parties so everybody can catch AIDS and stuff. Nothing Why? surprises me anymore. Yeah. It, it was at this point of hearing Chad say this, I got out of my truck, <laughs> went over to the other side of the like the parking lot at the school of Morton, put my hands on my hips, sat there quander, you know, pondering it for like the next ten seconds, and then I looked up to the sky and just yelled, "What?" <laughs> yeah, there was some kind of little short doc s project about this group of people that like. Were AIDS chasers, 
It's yeah. because they want to be able to say they they have it. They're like Yikes. exclusively apparently life exclusive. is not yeah. apparently life is not interesting enough unless you have AIDS. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Right. And then there are also people who like have it and pimp it out like, oh, you found out your wife was cheating on you. Well, let me give you AIDS, and then you give AIDS to her. So now you got you got that bitch. Wow. We're like revenge AIDS. That is horrible. And I can yeah. see it written on the mirror in the morning. Welcome to the world of AIDS, bitch. Oh, my God. What a nightmare, right? Some just, like, crazy person yeah, yeah. that you saw I mean, happen to be in a relationship with gets you, dude. Well, that's, that's, one thing about, that's one thing about it that I'm glad we live around here. Uh, well, I know there's people around here who probably have it. But the frequency out in, like, San Francisco and Los Angeles, a lot higher frequency. I mean, any metropolitan area is going to be higher than a rural area. But Well, yeah. It's that's still, how, that's, it's that's still how as work. we said earlier, a risk you don't want to take. Be safe. Yeah. Protect yourself. Yeah, let, let me let me show you that. I, I know a lot of people out there don't believe me that this actually exists. Oh, oh God, what is it? Seems like I remember seeing... Oh, they... Seems like I was exposed to one of these commercials here somehow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Old fail blog. I remember this. <laughs> I kid you not. And enjoy. And the appetite suppressant in AIDS is not a stimulant. AIDS helped me lose the weight and has nothing in it that could make me hurt. Question. Why take diet pills when you can enjoy AIDS? AIDS helps you lose weight (laughs) safely and... (laughs) One more time! Why take diet pills when you can enjoy AIDS? (laughs) Were people actively dying of this disease at this point? I think or this, this was virus? the early 80s, back when it was still known as GRID, which was a predominantly like homosexual thing. And then in right. the mid-80s, it became more mainstream as known as AIDS. And That's then, crazy. And the people who actually make this still make it. but And they've stuck to the name. They still have the oh, name? No. Yeah. That is some resilience of an ignorant con. Question. Why take diet pills when you can enjoy AIDS? You gotta know when you fucked up, man. You got to. You gotta own that shit and say, hey, we (laughs) fucked up, we'll change our name. That was a total bonehead move. God, I love this shit. You know, just give it up. Oh, yeah. They still stick to the name? Is that a real, that's for... Here, here, I'll show it to you. Oh, my God. They're still a... They were his last time I looked. Hold on. I mean, speechless seems to be the there. It is on this. pronounced AIDS. Red- Appetite suppressant candy. Man, nothing surprises me anymore. Yep. Nothing surprises. They changed me it to di- the product's name was changed to Diet AIDS. <laughs> that doesn't make it better. It's even worse. going to Africa trying to like, watch your like, figure like humanitarian mission or something stop. and they come across this little kid who's just like it's just like stop excuse me I have AIDS and then all of a sudden regular uh, diet <laughs> <laughs> that's not where I was going but that's still just as good it's like <laughs> Are you low on energy? Do you need a boost? Well, try our new product, leukemia. Jesus. Right? That's what it is to me. There's a point where you got to recognize what your verbiage is projecting. Like, do they they really have their ear on, on the heartbeat of the, uh, you know, buyers? The, the marketplace is just screaming in their ears, you're making the right decision. How are they still a company? I How don't is this know. still working? I really don't know. <laughs> Well, I mean, something else. You, you you would imagine that like AIDS. I mean, it sounds like help, like medical aid. Right. So it was innocuous at first. Nobody ever would have thought that an acronym would like blow up into you know an, an epidemic. Who just, would, like? Uh, uh, yeah, over. it came out it in the seventies. Enjoyed strong sales in the seventies and early eighties. I wonder what happened. Yeah, I wonder what happened. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still scratching their heads like we can't figure it out. <laughs> 
<laughs> the shit works, okay? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. <laughs> that could be like the one like oh like miracle like diet thing that actually works 100% of the time, yeah. but people just don't. Completely you know, healthy, gone, like probably good for you. Blows hydroxy cut out of the water. Oh, yeah. You just AIDS. didn't know you needed a little AIDS in your life. <laughs> would have fixed everything. A little AIDS in your diet. Bad PR kept you away from the gold mine. Exactly. Jeez. Jesus. Okay, well, we've got a good laugh out of this, and we hope that you all have too. And if you want to watch the original video, feel free to click the link in the description down below. It will take you to uh, John Tron's... Uh, John Tron's video, and you know, check out John Tron's channel. He's got a shit ton of funny videos. But... For right now, I just have one question for all of you. Why take diet pills when you can enjoy AIDS? <laughs> Sorry. All Terrible right. bad, dude. So, until next time, everybody, I'm Nate. Micah. Chad. Nick. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.